hey there how you doing I have another one of our four card class cards and this one uses the color and contour set um, but any floral set that you have will probably work so I've already got my stamps on blocks these are the pieces that came out of your kit Okay, I'll just set the envelope aside. So this one is a Z fold. So you'll notice I have it all scored. So on the five and a half inch score, you're gonna fold this way. And then where that score is in the middle of the front, you're just gonna fold it backwards. And if I hadn't scored for you, or if you wanna make another one, you can just, once you fold a four and a quarter by 11 piece in half at five and a half, you just fold the back side backwards, okay? All right, so then we're going to put on the hand penned designer series paper. And I just picked a really pretty pattern that had some of the, the blushing bride in it. Mine might even be different than what is in your envelope. Looking at this, I'm almost wondering if this does have a direction, so I'm going to just turn it. Sometimes I check that, like I just hold it there for a second and that and check okay now this big one that I cut I cut these with the um, contour scallop contour dies this one can just go in here but if you want you can um, put your you can do another flower if you want okay you don't have to for my purposes I'm just gonna stick it in there but I bet people at class will fancy it up on the inside for sure. So, that looks pretty good. Okay. Then this one is the one that's going to sort of fit. So I want to kind of think about where it's going to go because I want it to fit like that. Okay, so when I go to adhere it, I'm only going to put adhesive on part of it. All right, so let's get out our memento black. And we will do the stem. I might even choose. I had some uh, post-its here. So that I can, oh. there we go. So I'm going to just line this up along my scallopy, the little stitched dots here, because what I don't, actually I'm going to go in just, I want that just on those. Like that, because I I don't really want it to look, sometimes I don't mind the looks like I stamped over, let it fall off the edge, but in this case, I, I want it to stay inside the stitching. So just ink that up and lean that over. And so a little bit fell off the edge and that's okay. There we go. And then we'll add our greeting. Thank you for everything. Right over here. Okay. There we go. Now we can close the black so it doesn't get all over everything. Check my fingers. Clean them off. <laughs> Oh, I've had times where it seems like I touch just a little bit of black and then it's everywhere. So this is the piece that fills these in. Now it's not going to be perfect and that's okay. It's not intended to be perfect, but I can kind of tell sort of where it wants to be. 
and it's this is one of those designed to have some texture to it so there's going to be darker sections and lighter sections and that's it's designed to be that way all right and then we'll find the light soft succulent and just give some illusion of color. I don't want to make it perfect because the, the blooms aren't perfect. So I just want to give some illusion of color there. Okay. And this can come off. And then I'm going to very carefully add some soft sea foam because that's the green in the designer series paper. I'm going to just take the speckle from that same. I could um, get a marker or something and, and smack it, but I think I just want to add a few speckles in the background. And actually over here, because I might overlap a few, I might do them just stamped off. a little something to fill fill that in a little bit okay. so now that this is all set I can figure out where I want to put it and be very careful that my adhesive I'm going to kind of count those scallops one two three four five six so no more than six scallops over there and once I get sort of my line, I know I can come this way, right up until that. And then, again, I'm going to count one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm going to kind of eyeball that sixth scallop so that it's right along that edge, like that. Perfect. Okay. There. Ta-da! And it will stand up so the, the receiver can stand it up if they want. Okay. All right.